going on guys? People call me Johnny Gasm and I'm coming at you today with MurphBot. What's up guys? Patrick Murphy here. MurphBotWorkouts.com Today we are celebrating leg day. So I know uh, none of you guys like leg day. Well, some, some of you guys might like leg day. And we look pretty excited, but let me assure you, we do not like leg day. We strongly dislike leg day, actually. By far the worst day. Um, you probably hear that a lot in gym culture. Leg day is the least enjoyable day to the vast majority of people who lift. In fact, I've never had a leg day before. But <laughs> since John came over, he said, let's, let's film a leg day. I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I had to YouTube some, some things, learn how to squat. I'm just kidding, guys. I do leg day once a month. <laughs> just kidding again. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually, as you guys can see, I'm doing a little bit lighter weight, uh, just just by a couple of pounds couple than pounds. Uh, our friend JR here and Patrick. I only started doing leg day, um, well, started squatting uh, in January. I was recovering from a back injury up until that point. Started off um, doing leg day, like squats and front squats with a little bit lighter weight. And then here you see me doing a max of about 185 while Patrick is doing a little bit heavier than that. A little bit heavier. You know, I've worked my way up in the squat the squat realm. However, if you notice that Johnny Gasm does go pretty deep on his squats, he's actually going deeper than uh, both Jeff and I. But uh, that, that has a lot to do with body mechanics. Uh, yeah, absolutely. John's a pretty limber dude, and I currently am not. I put on about 30 pounds in the past couple months because I, I'm bulking, so I get kind of fat. So, I mean, that's really as low as I can go. I go about hips parallel to my knees, and I am also old, so <laughs> so that, that, that helps save my knees, too, in the long run. Uh, and that really is about as far as you need to go. Um, I go a little bit lower because it's a little more comfortable for me, but in the uh, upcoming leg days, I am going to be working on staying a little bit more parallel because... Although it still helps, it's really ultimately not necessary to make, um, you know, any gains. Right. And then a lot of times we'll switch over to, as you see here, we're doing leg press. And um, we bring our, our range of motion a lot further down than we normally would on squats. So it gives you the freedom uh, without possibly injuring your back yeah. to, to do a full range of motion. This is a, a 45 degree leg press. You can also, you'll obviously, probably in every gym, find a uh, leg press that doesn't rely on free weights and is more of a machine um, than this uh, mechanism is. This is kind of, looks a little bit more uh, makeshift, but this gives you a really, really great pump. If your gym has one of these, don't be afraid to set it up and try it because this is a lot more comfortable than any other leg machine that you're going to find, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. And this, too, you can really stack on a lot of weight uh, where you normally wouldn't be able to put it on the squat bar. So this is just another thing to help overload the quads. And the depth you can go, you know, you engage your glutes and hamstrings a lot, too. Yeah, exactly. So here we did, I think, um, four or five sets. We just added weight every set, and we're shooting for 20 reps. Look at your, look at your calves. Actually, those are some striations in my calves. Yeah. That's what we call striations. Those are nice. I just look pale and fat. See, you look pale and fat in this, uh, <laughs> but that makes up for you uh, looking ridiculously more shredded than me in the back day video. Yeah, if you guys watch that back day video, you can see the contrast. And this is only a couple months or a month maybe apart. It's about a month, maybe a month and a half. Yeah, a month so and some change. I was um, about 160 pounds in the back day video, very lean and shredded, and then here I'm 200 pounds and pale and fat. <laughs> so okay, so this this exercise is uh, called goblet squats. You see, I'm trolling on our right own. here. Yeah, yeah, that's some troll. That's okay. So get this your uh, poses down. <laughs> getting my poses. That's right. So uh, this exercise, just as it looks like, you hold the dumbbell right in front of your, right in front of you, and uh, you squat down, and just try to get your elbows as close to your knees as possible. Here we go. Right here. This is probably the closest that you guys are gonna get me <sighs> to being shirtless. Like a lot of you constantly request for some reason <laughs> uh but that's probably the most you're gonna see i'm making gains with murph pot thanks yeah. to working out with this guy yeah you notice john's the only one doing that because jeff and i we're not taking our shirts off right now <laughs> that's just that's all there's to it you also are you know i i tend to be a douche uh fair amount of the time that's okay so, yeah especially when you're in the gym yeah absolutely well our the gym's empty so it's allowed yeah, we this can... was a very early Saturday morning yep. for us. Um, but, you know, sometimes you got to push yourself. 
it was nice getting there early, um, doing leg day, getting it, getting it out of the way. Um, and also, it feels like a more epic event when you get up early to, I agree. to do it. Mm -hmm. Rise and shine. All right, so here we just laid down a couple of plates so we can put our uh, the balls of our feet up on and just hold some dumbbells in your hand, and we do calf raises. Uh, you know, our gym has a machine where you can do standing calf raises, but I actually prefer this a lot more because it uses a lot of uh, stabilizer muscles. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of the time, mo you'll hear most people who like are really into lifting say that they prefer doing the free weights over the machines. For machines are great to start you off, and I started off um, on a lot of machines, but by using free weights, um, whether it's for bench or shoulders or calf raises or really anything, you have to stabilize yourself, and it just gives you a lot better of a workout. Look at your calves, dude. I'm getting there. I'm making I'm, some calf gains. I'm talking about John's calves. A little bit 24 less, seven. A little bit less chicken legs this summer than yeah. last summer. Yeah, looking good. I remember last summer getting some comments saying, "Do you even do leg day?" And the answer was yes, but you couldn't tell. Well, here's the answer right here. Yeah, these these are these are absolutely brutal. If yeah, you these, want to talk about these, these are called uh, jump lunges. So I like to do these at the end after we're pretty fatigued. So it's just just as it looks. You know, you. You get down in a lunge position and you jump into the next lunge position. And then we did three sets of it, gave ourselves about 15 seconds between sets, and you just do them until you can't do them anymore. Yeah, and that's exactly what we did. As you'll see, um, there's a couple of instances where we're absolutely exhausted, falling all over the place. And it's a absolutely fantastic exercise, a great one. Uh, it's just your body weight. It's great to do a burnout set on. Like I said, you guys, this is the last exercise of the workout. So if you can, get hit that rate button with a big fat thumbs up. Leave your thoughts or questions in the comment section down below. Hit the link at the end of the video or in the description to MurphBot's channel. And thank you so, so much for watching. But more important than any of that, blaze for life.